Hello class. In this video, I'll show you the Shape Builder tool, this one. And it's a very effective tool that you can use to build very complex shapes like this. Okay, the first we'll explore the merge function and we'll create this uh, light bubble. So we'll draw first a circle and then draw the second one. And you can place the second one down a little bit, align them, and then select both of them and click on the Shape Builder tool. And then as you can see, when you put your cursor on it, it has a plus sign. So that means if you just click and drag to this side, and then you'll merge the selected shapes together. See, now it is a one face. And then you can go use Rectangular tool and align them through the center. And then select both of the two shapes. And with the Shape Builder tool, Click on the first shape, second shape, and the third shape, and then we merge it into one. All right. So that's merge, add multiple shapes together, and then we'll use the subtract function to subtract the shape from another, which is cut the first shape with other shapes. Okay. So this time we'll use the ellipse tool and draw a circle first. If this is a sunset and this is a water, the reflections, and we can use rectangular tool and can place it in here, first one, and then hold down Option key to make a duplication, and bring down, and release, and then hold the Option key again, and then move in the same distance as the first two, and then the fourth one, here we go. And then select all of them, and then select the Shape Builder tool, hold down Option key, okay, just select the shapes that you would like to cut, and it will um, remove those shapes. Here we go. So uh, right now they are separated pieces and you can select all of them and uh, group them together. So this is a sunset. Okay. Then we would like to create a, a new moon. All right. And we can start with a circle, big circle. Oops, that's too big. Something like that. And then we can create a smaller one and bring the smaller one inside of the bigger one. Maybe this is too small. Just a little bit bigger. Like that. Okay, and grab both of them. And then click on the Shape Builder tool. And then use your mouse left key. Click on the one you would like to remove. And then use the Selection tool. Now deselect first. And then you can select that specific face and then you can move it away and then you can delete those faces you don't want and this is a new moon now we'll generate a shape in the negative space and I will make this pattern I'll start with the ellipse tool and make the first one and then the second one okay and uh, I'll make a rectangular shape intersect with uh, these uh, two circles and this one intersect on the top point here I would like to make one smaller uh, circle and bring it in the center and this one on the top okay so this is called a negative space uh, because this place is empty and here's a solid positive space so what I'll do is I will like to generate a shape in this negative space. We'll select all of the shapes we have created and then use the Shape Builder tool and click on this negative space and now it will fill a shape inside of this space. And then we can use the Direct Selection tool, make sure you deselect first. And then you can select each object and delete and in the end you will have this shape. 